Here's the latest from ABC News. I'm Dave Packer. A man flagged as a possible extremist opened fire at a Christmas market in Strasbourg, France, killing three people and critically injuring five others. Let's get right to ABC's Ian Panel. He says police are still searching for the suspect. Very soon after this happened, they were able to identify the man very quickly. He's apparently a known criminal who's been on their radar. And there is a major manhunt, a terror investigation tonight. We know they're searching in multiple locations beyond that initial market neighborhood. The interior minister says there'll be extra security at locations across France. Lawyers for Michael Flynn, President Trump's former national security advisor, asking a federal judge for nothing more than probation and community service when he's sentenced next week for lying to the FBI. Last week, special counsel Robert Mueller called Flynn's cooperation in the Russia investigation substantial and recommended no prison time. Michael Cohen, President Trump's former lawyer and fixer, will be sentenced in New York federal court tomorrow on tax evasion, bank fraud, and election law violations. That includes the illegal hush money payments to protect the Trump campaign. Cohen pleaded guilty. In a rare Oval Office confrontation, President Trump got into a heated exchange about border wall funding with Democratic leaders Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. It's very clear from the start that this is not like any other little photo op that we usually see. The cameras are in there for 15 minutes of pretty intense fighting among the leaders of the first and second branches of the government. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you would normally read about maybe, you know, a year later in some kind of behind-the-scenes tell-all book, but instead it's playing all out in real time. ABC's Jonathan Carl. Now Nancy Pelosi close to a deal with holdouts against her speakership bid. Sources telling ABC News that Pelosi is poised to agree to limit her speakership to four years and support term limits for the top three leadership caucus spots. I'm Dave Packer, ABC News.